Okay, right, next, what we're going to do is we're going to create a script uh, for the uh, track so we can spawn our obstacles. So go to uh, script, and inside script, create C sharp, call it track. Open up the track photo once you, once you name it. Uh, not track photo, the track script. Okay, we're going to call it public name object brackets obstacles for the array. And the brackets are next to the P. And then public vector 2 with num obstacles. Then uh, open and close brackets inside there. You're going to type in hide in the inspector. And then next, you're going to type in public list greater than less than signs game object and obstacles. And obstacles, all right. And obstacles, all right. And obstacles, and then uh, inside uh, inside the start, we're gonna go and type in a int and a for loop, uh, a random int and a for loop. So go int new num obstacles equals parentheses int random dot range num obstacles dot x and num obstacles dot y all right and also uh, inside if you click on the, my Amazon fade link below in the description. Uh, it will give you a more installation of of the uh, coding that I'm using, the C sharp. Uh, some some great reading material to help you understand the, the, the code in here. All right. So so once we have done that, create a for loop. So for parentheses. And then your curly braces, and inside that you're gonna do int i equals zero semicolon i is greater than new num obstacles new num obstacles. I plus plus. All right, and inside there, I'm going to do uh, n obstacles dot add instantiate. Instantiate, what that means is it will make the obstacles appear. Instantiate, parentheses, obstacles, obstacles, brackets. Random dot range parentheses zero comma separated obstacles dot length dot length and go over to the end of the bracket, put a comma there, and type in transform and close close it with a semicolon and then press enter and we're going to type in n obstacles brackets inside the brackets pick i 
dot set active inside it. Put in false. All right. And then next, next thing, so next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a method. So go below here under void. I mean under void update. And we're gonna type in void layout obstacles. Parentheses, then enter curly braces. Then inside here, inside here, what we are going to do is run create a for loop inside the the obstacle. So it's going to be for int i equals zero oh, zero i greater than n obstacles dot count semicolon i plus plus credit braces inside this now type in float dot p z m i n equals now what we're going to do is you're going to put this number in so basically go back to your unity editor select track 2 and the number is 80 so take the number 80 just in case zero this out And um, this number, I have 80. If you have something different, or you made the the uh, track bigger, like basically made uh, uh made the uh, made your sites like like had like 10 sites or or use bigger models. Uh, all you have to do is just take whatever number you have here, and we're gonna put it in the script. Mine mine is 80, so whatever number you have for Z, you're gonna put it in the script, and you're gonna type in here. Parentheses, and type 80 or whatever number you have for that. See, so remember, F divided by or the four slash sign and obstacles dot count plus parentheses. Make sure that's a capital count. Sorry. Parentheses, ADF, or again, whatever you have for, 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 for that Z, plus, I mean, divided by N obstacles, dot count, times, or the asterisk, I, times I. And next, you know, float P Z max. So this is the this is minimum uh, Z position and maximum Z position. Then basically, an easy way just get this. It is a copy and paste. So I'll copy it and paste it down here, and then for here, put plus one all right and then from there I'm going to type in n obstacles brackets I dot transform dot local pos not local scale local position equals new vector three 
new vector three. Parentheses, zero, comma, zero, comma, random dot range. Parentheses, and you'll put in the two float barrels we have here. Put in P, Z, min, comma, then P, Z, max. Close it with the semicolon. Press enter. And then uh, end obstacles. Brackets I dot set active. And this is going to be true. All right, next, um, what we're going to do is going to call out layer obstacles by going into underneath start underneath the for loop. Type in layout obstacles, parentheses, then semicolon. Control S to save. Then going back into your track. Uh, back in the Unity, select track, highlight track one, track two, and then uh, click on add component, and then just type in track to add it. All right, and then obstacles. Select your prefab. Go to the prefab folder. Prefab folder for for the obstacles, and then drag obstacle one, just like so. Obstacle two, and obstacle three, like so. And I'm gonna have the range. We'll do ten uh, to fifteen. See how it looks. All right, click play, and the obstacles should be showing. Just move, move around the obstacles. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is, in the next, we are going to have the car uh, collide with the obstacles. Or or if it collides with the obstacle, it will uh, it will receive damage. Uh, so, uh, we're going to stop this. And then, we're going to go ahead and scripted so it was received damage in the next video